this piece. After nearly three weeks, the first-degree murder trial of Seth Teckel enters its final stage. Judge Dan Wilson sent the case to the jury about 3.15 this afternoon. KTBO's Tess Hedrick is standing by in a tumble with more on the proceedings in Wapolo County District Court. Tess? Marlene, testimony in the case wrapped up on Friday, and this morning, the attorneys in the case presented their closing arguments to the jury. First up, Assistant Attorney General Andrew Prosser for the state. Prosser told the jury that the case against Seth Teckel simply wasn't that complicated, saying on that morning in May, Seth Teckel had lust in his heart and murder in his mind, and that only Teckel had the motive to kill his wife because he had an ongoing relationship with Rachel McFarland, and that only Teckel had the opportunity to do so. There is no evidence, according to the state, that there was anyone else in the Teckel home on the morning of Lisa's death. Prosser also argued that Teckel repeated lies and decep deceptions to law enforcement about McFarland, the vandalism at Brian Tate's house, and had inconsistencies in his story. Prosser also addressed the circumstantial nature of the state's case. Direct evidence is subject to bias, motive, concealment, and other reasons. In other words, it's not perfect. So that's why the, the judge's instruction says to you that the law doesn't give any special weight to direct or circumstantial evidence. It's because sometimes the circumstantial evidence is better than the direct evidence. There is no blood. Or then address the jury, there arguing that the state's complete there lack of no physical blood. evidence makes it impossible to find Teckle guilty. Gardner told jurors that if law enforcement had done testing on Teckle's hands, clothes, or other evidence, there wouldn't be any doubt as to Teckle's guilt or innocence. We'll have more from closing statements tonight on KTVO News at 6. And, of course, if there's a verdict in that case, we'll have that for you. Reporting live from Matumwa, Tess Hedrick, KTVO News. Thank you for that report.